Wednesday night Dynamite had their lowest viewership in their history at 502,000 viewers, which is about 180 some thousand lower than last week. Now, a lot of people are speculating that uh, maybe a one week aberration. I don't know, but there was no NBA playoffs, uh, no hockey that I'm aware of. So there really wasn't a whole lot of competition. Now, in the demo, they were uh, number three on cable. So it wasn't like all bad when it comes to the demographics. Mm-hmm. But that's not great at 500,000 viewers when WWE is pulling. Now, granted, all ratings are down across the board because cable ratings are just not as popular or not as important as they used to be. People are watching on YouTube clips or watching yeah. online or whatever it might be. So it's not, it may not be the end of the world, but it just doesn't look good for sure. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of people freaking out saying it's the death of AEW. I don't know if I'm ready to say that just yet. They do got a good pay-per-view coming up and maybe next week they bounce back and they're doing good television right now, in my opinion, but yeah, it's the viewers just ain't. All I know so. is at the same time though, that raw was on. So was the NBA finals. And there were more people that tuned in to see the whole Wyatt six thing. Then they watched to the Boston Celtics win the fucking game. Yeah. And like a lot of people found out Boston won after they seen the Wyatt Six. Um, yeah, it was crazy. I figured that'd be the other way um, around easily. But, but again, I know that's what I would have thought. But it is what it is. The AEW will be AEW. AEW will be fine. I, <laughs> WWE wouldn't be putting on the shows that they're putting on yeah. if it wasn't for competition. Yeah, I so, for all these wrestling fans, you need both of these promotions to be successful. That's how you get. That's how you get good shit. Because if one of them fails, then there's no need for the other one to try. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Competition this breeds time of year. competition. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't so, be getting any of the TNA be- stuff with uh, Jordan Grace or was it John Hendry or was that his name? We came over to NXT this week. Joe Hendry. Get Joe it right. Hendry. Say his name and he will appear. I never right? heard of the man before Dude, this week, a- okay? Me but- neither. That shit was bananas, bro. <laughs> but apparently he got like a bunch of views on their on their X page and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, none of that stuff would be happening if it wasn't for AEW mm-hmm. doing what they're doing with the Forbidden Store door stuff over here. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. NXT, I... Don't know. I think it was. I'd have to look and see what the ratings were for both. But I would imagine it was probably a little better mm-hmm. <laughs> than, than AEW this I, week for sure. Yeah, I know they're they're doing stuff with Noah as well too. Okay. WWE and I'm glad to see they are finally doing that because they didn't um, used to want to play ball at all. And nope. That's, nope. Again, you can thank AEW for that. I'm so. just saying. I I. I hold out hope that one day we will get an AEW WWE crossover. I hope so too. That 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 would, that would I think be good. It would definitely help AEW at this point. It depends on how much WWE really doesn't want AEW to succeed. If they would be willing to do that, um, but yeah, I would yeah. love to see it. I mean, that's for sure. But yeah, we'll see next week mm-hmm. and see if this becomes. I mean, yes, they are. AEW was pulling one million views at one point. Now it's down to half. Um, so that is a mm-hmm. concerning trend. It is on the downward tick, but it does fluctuate a bit between 700 and 800. This week was 500 for whatever reason. So we'll see what it does next week. It's not the end of the world. And hopefully, apparently, Warner Brothers Discovery, they, they were saying that does not really concern that, that it's not going to affect their negotiations, but they're not going to say anything if it would either. So we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But yeah, it was a little concerning to see that number for sure. So yeah. Thank you for checking out this clip from the Dragon's Dead podcast. If you like what you saw here, please consider checking out our live podcast almost every single Friday night here on the channel at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And until our next video, guys, take care and God bless.